Today I'm building a gun cabinet. It's kind of a long project. This is going to be a built-in cabinet. Um, interesting way of storing this, which is uh, kind of something I wanted to share. Your typical gun cabinet, this piece is 38 inches long. In your typical gun cabinet, you'd only be able to get 12, maybe 13 guns in it um, based on the space between the guns. Something that I came up with to increase the amount of space is offsetting the guns from the back to the front and that gives you space for one in between every one of them. So in the back there's room for 12 in the front there's room for 11. So instead of getting 12 or 13 guns in a 38 inch space I'm getting 23. Um, so I built this piece the plywood piece as a mock-up to try it uh, seemed to work pretty good so I transferred it over to a piece of oak what I've done here I don't know if you can tell the layout center line to center line is three and a quarter inches for the back and the same thing in the front so what I'll do is in the back I have marked where my center point is going to be, take an inch and a quarter Forstner bit and drill out every one of those in the back. I'm going to do the same thing in the front. And I'm going to cut this strip off the front so that way the that, that's on there so it doesn't tear out when I drill it. So we're going to bring it over to the drill press, drill it out. Then I'm probably going to use the table saw to cut these pieces out. Uh, I just did that on a chop saw to be quick, um, just because I was trying to see if this would work. But uh, I don't know, this is something I uh, wish somebody would have showed me along the way, and so I figured I'd share it with everybody else. Okay, so what I've done here is set up a fence so that every hole is going to be in the same spot. That way everything's going to look even. Um, time to go to work. I've set up my dust collection. Nothing fancy, but it works. And we'll see how it turns out. a little bit of tear out here so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it through a planer and see if that cleans it up any. Okay that cleaned up nicely. So now what we're going to do is put lines from the back to the front that we can cut on from the table saw. And we'll take it over to the table saw and cut those pieces out.
Okay, so here it is after I cut out all the pieces. I took a uh, round over bit and eased off the edges here. As you can tell that. But it uh, turned out pretty good. Let's see how it looks when I get it installed. I gotta sand it yet. Get it installed and see how that works.